We are still waiting on Almond to have babies. I'm serious. Good morning. Today's a Sabbath morning and we like to sit in bed, sleep late, have some coffee, and take it easy, but that's not what we're going to do today. Because we have babies being born all over the place. I think, as of last count, we have ten? Seven uh, kids and three lambs? I think that's right. But it's hilarious in here. We have a goat who is kidding right now, and uh, she has no space because there's seven other babies running around. Finally having that baby, are you? Well, not anymore. Her labor has stalled. Oh, really? Yeah. First of all, we got her up off the ground outside and brought her in here. And then when we got in here, um, well, there's already babies in here. And She thinks she's done? No, but she's very upset because they all are wandering around. Like, if they would lay down... And if the Gemma's would leave, then, um. <laughs> well, it's uh, 27 out here. I could start kicking them out. Well, yeah. yeah, I've kicked them out several times, but Almond won't stay in here because there's other babies in here. Yeah. I didn't want her birthing out there, or I think they'll freeze because it's frozen out there. And it's a little bit breezy. So if they're wet and cold and breezy, that's not good. So I want her in here. This is too many. There's too many people in here, and then, of course, the babies are making her upset. See, she keeps trying to, like, I'm going to eat, and then she, like, wanders away. I'm keeping hold of her. She was hiding behind me over here because the babies wouldn't leave her alone. Oh <laughs> she was, like, pushed up against me. <laughs> it was very funny. I don't want your babies born out there. Of course, I have not seen her have a single mother contraction since we came in here. Yeah, we, we so. stopped it. I think at some point you can't stop it, so, but, but we stopped it by bringing her in here, and she's so stressed about this. I just feel like they're going to die out there. Okay, so we moved Almond into the shelter um, to labor because it was just too frosty out here, but I think that stalled her labor because she kind of didn't have any more contractions while we sat there, and so we played with babies and made sure all the other ones ate. Um, we let her come back out, but I'm watching her, and she's definitely... Um, in labor, I guess I'm going to let her labor out here and just watch, but I'm going to go get coffee first and get a chair <laughs> and sit out here and just pay attention because I don't want any frozen babies. <laughs> <laughs> standing here so I don't know I might go have my coffee back inside and then come back in a little bit and watch her it's warming up but I don't see I don't see her contracting right now well we came out this afternoon and apparently almonds labor has recommenced and she's actively pushing so we're just watching and waiting it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny. She's chosen a good place. It's a little breezy, which still concerns me, but well, it was a lot worse this morning. Oh my gosh, that's a huge baby.
Wow. Mm-hmm. That's Why is your baby that. so big, <laughs> Ginger? What the heck? Oh my gosh. You have a big baby compared to these other little ones. It's going to oh look like it's God. three weeks old. Dude. <laughs> no wonder it took so long. That was a huge is baby. Yep. Probably. I don't think that's the only one that's in there. That's Clean a huge up. baby. Right, Micah? Clean it up. Good mama. How did she break that? I don't know. I but it's huge. She was pushing for a really long time. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't breached. And so we wanted to make sure that it was presenting right. So mom, well, mom kind of accidentally broke the bag. She was trying to feel the holes, but she accidentally broke the bag. And then she started to get the head out, but like I said, the hooves were kind of on one side of the head. So I went to try and straighten the hooves, and then I just, you know, helped pull it all the way out. Yeah, I think we're going to go again. She's starting to breathe heavy. She's arched a couple times, uh, and uh, she does the yawning thing. Yeah. I don't think he's gotten it by so himself like, yet. Helped him a few times, but. Well, Ginger ended up having no more babies. Uh, just one ginormous boy. We've named him Sugar Cookie. He looks just like Snickerdoodle last year. Uh, he is sleeping. We have a dog crate here that we keep uh, the Simmons babies. Emma's babies and they're the oldest and we've been separating them at night for a couple of days to feed the sheep babies that were rejected by their mama and but the babies we leave it open during the day and all the babies go in there to sleep which is really cute and um basically this kid is the size of Gemma's babies who are like 11 days older than him <laughs> and he's some and he's bigger than babies that are one week older than him so that is crazy um we are still waiting on almond to have babies i'm serious this go is never ever ever going to have these babies i'm seriously doubting if she's even pregnant so the right side of her body when she was laying down was like rolling so i know there have to be babies in there it's crazy she hasn't had them yet i mean it's fine i'm hoping that she only has two though because She's looking large, but today her udder looks more filled up. But it's Friday, so I really don't want her to have it on Shabbat because I hate being out here in the snow and the cold. It's actually supposed to be warm tomorrow, so hopefully. Hopefully it'll be better than today, but um, I don't know. I can't trust any of her signs anymore, I guess. Her udder's filled up, so that usually means we're closer. <laughs> I just have no idea. Brendan just said almond header babies. The middle of the night. Here we go. Good morning. It's one o'clock in the morning. Um, there's another one over there. Okay. Everybody chill out. Man, it's gonna be hard to get under here. Oh man. That was chaos. Just all the goats looking for their babies, which are locked up because this is the first night we're going to milk tomorrow with um, three out of the four that already had babies. Um, all their babies are locked up, so only Sugar is out because he's the youngest. And they're freaking out because the babies are put away. And then Almond had her babies right in the middle of that, and then she's butting everyone away. So that no one touches her baby and she's got one here she's not even cleaning off and I think she might be having another one which means we're gonna probably have a rejected bottle baby again because she's only focused on one okay you know I didn't even check to see if that was a doe or a buck oh, she's cleaning one off I feel like she keeps standing stiff so she might have another one Well, we couldn't video it because it took both of us, four hands, to hold this poor cold baby up. 
to almond and I held her mouth open and squirted colostrum in and she started drinking and then she started sucking and now she can stand and it's like a miracle. So there you go. And almond, I basically took the baby and I re-rubbed her on almond's rear end, which is all gross and nasty. But basically almond's like decided to take care of her for now. I hope that lasts. It's hard to tell. Almond's finicky that way as a goat. But here's the hope. Goat kid development day five. They don't want their feet to touch the ground. It's like a game. They jump and climb on anything they can. They jump for no reason, just to get airtime. I don't even know what the game is quite, but <laughs> they just jump. <laughs> <laughs>